Okay, this was a fight that has gotten a lot of traction because it had a 200-page troll-infested uh, comic vine bit to it. So, here we go, Barry Allen Flash Thor. It's always the nine criteria. Intelligence, findability, strength, speed, durability, and vulnerability, EP, versatility, and X-factor. I'm going with the, the Barry Allen version. And I'm looking this pretty much from... I can't take Thor in its totality. Because he did things in like the 60s and 70s that pretty much are like Silver Age level feats. Those of you who don't know, you had Golden Age comics and Silver Age. Silver Age was when you'd have Superman like towing planets. That was also when you had, I think... So Superman was towing planets and actually had Hulk punch a hole into reality. This was also around the time when Thor was able to swing his hammer to two times the speed of thought. Yeah, this is when people were, were, were taking abilities that could like, destroy universes. That was also what I want to say. It was Barry Allen Flash in uh, Christ on Infinite Earths, which is the end of DC Silver Age, pretty much. It's where they went and took all of the previous history and kind of went, nah, it's all kind of gone, and then tried to cherry pick things to make it work going forward. Because a depowered Barry Allen was able to destroy as well as absorb, I think it was the Anti Monitor's universe destroying cannon. So people in the comic fight thread out right, so like, well, a depowered Barry Allen could take a universe destroying attack. So yeah, even though this is Barry Allen, I, 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 we're not going with Silver Age feats. So just bear that in mind. So let's get into this. Intelligence. <sighs> Barry Allen, forensics, highly, highly intelligent individual, can think pretty much as fast as he can move, that's as fast as he can think. So he's got a tremendous amount of processing capability. But he's taking on Thor, the god of thunder. This is probably the very few times I'm like, you know what, I'm going to actually give it to, to, to Thor. The reason why, Barry spent a lot of time without powers. <coughs> so his time with powers is very, very small compared to the time that Thor has spent. Thor has been a warrior for, depending on era and when you're looking at it, for thousands of years. I've noticed a couple of hundred because depending on what it is, it's either he's been a, a worship god for 1,500 to 2,000 years, depending on the origin you're going for, and depending on how Marvel's heads characterize it. Fighting ability, I have no problem saying Thor. Strength, Thor. <clears throat> Fighting ability, I'm, I'm sorry. Thor is an amazing fighter. He was a super strength. Flash doesn't actually have a high degree of super strength. In fact, he has zero degree of super strength. His super strength comes from his ability to use speed. So that's what I'm going to give, you know, speed. I'll definitely give Barry Allen the, the, the speed advantage here. <coughs> and this is more because you have speed and then the other attributes of speed. You know, he can become intangible. If this fight's on the ground, Flash has got a huge speed advantage. Once Thor goes into the air, Flash is still pretty good, because Flash has shown that he actually can hang with who can fly. He's done a pretty good job when it's come to either chasing with or having small skirmishes with flying individuals. Not quite the level of Thor, but, you know, respectable enough. Durability. Flash is a great healing factor. He also doesn't really get tired. He is sort of taking on the God of Thunder who has fought months on end without needing to take a break, so... so and, and vulnerability. Sorry, again, this is Thor. As I'm looking at the way <coughs> these two guys are, 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 are laid out, it's like, well, one guy is a legitimate god. The other guy is really, really fast. You know, Thor commonly wears armor. Armor crafted by our Baz Guardians. Maybe if Barry were to run on an Apocalyptian armor, maybe I could see giving him a slight edge in this. So I said, maybe turn intangible. Turn intangible is great. 
<coughs> problem with intangibility is if you're intangible, you're also not affecting your opponent while you're not being affected yourself. Where Thor, Thor can take a physical beating. He can take a drumming. And it's not going to slow him down. EP, again, this, this is Thor. He's a god wielding an artifact. With the ability he has from the Odin Force, he's been able to you know, harm individuals like Galactus, like Ego, who is the living planet. His, his EP, his interest, just the raw blast that he can do is impressive. Very impressive. Versatility. I go back and forth. I'm like, well, from Flash's standpoint, you do have the intangibility. You do have the ability to do hurricanes. You do have all the different wind-based abilities. You have the, the infinite mass punch. You have a lot of things that, that, that Flash can throw out. I was like, well, if he can create whirlwinds, I guess the guy who wields a hammer that controls weather. And his heat seeking. Can technically, well, I don't know if he's done it recently, but has, has been able to, through the use of all the different enchantments, affect a cosmic level being. When it came to a fight like uh, Flash versus Hulk or Juggernaut, they're really strong individuals. They don't have any sort of additional skills. Thor is equally as strong as some of them. Maybe a little bit less, not, not quite fully as, as strong, but he's right up there with them. And he wields an artifact. So I will actually give X Factor to, uh, to, to Barry. I do think Barry has a, a slight chance of finding out something that he can do. Because I was also thinking, you know, the enchantment is he who is worthy. I could almost see if Barry Allen is able to find some sort of way to outrace the hammer if Thor throws it, which he can do because he's done it before. But I'm thinking, well, he can outrace Thor's hammer. Uh, Barry Allen's outrace both a Black Racer and a Black Lantern ring by jumping himself through a time sink. So if he can outrace the Black Racer, who is Death, and outrace Omega Eye Beams, as well as be able to do the time jump enough to disable Black Lantern rings, he probably has the ability to outrun Thor's hammer. Heat seeking and whatnot. At the same time, he can probably double back and grab Thor's hammer. And he could probably become Flash Thor, or Thash, whatever they would call him. But th this is seven to two. I think that for all the skills Barry Allen has, if he goes full intangible and comes back for microseconds to land shots on Thor, or if he tries to steal Thor's speed, which he can do, which I think he has a good chance of doing someone like Hulk, he could steal Hulk's speed and make Hulk a statue. And then he could drum on him the whole time. Can you do that to Thor? Potentially. But the problem with Thor is even if he takes all of Thor's speed, he's still wielding an artifact. <clears throat> it doesn't require him to have a lot of movement. I mean, we're looking at he has got the ultimate knockout shot. He can hit the ground and destroy the earth they're standing on. He can shoot lightning all over the place. You know, he definitely can throw the hammer and have the hammer just heat seek him the whole time. While controlling weather, while creating hurricanes and ice storms and wind shears and lightning and everything. The list of powers of Mjolnir are ridiculous. When you flash with the hold of it, this becomes a more competitive fight. Because then you can steal the speed of Thor and then pound on him with Mjolnir. That's really about it. You know, he's not going to be able to really hurt Thor at all. Could he hurt Hulk? I can see him better easier time hurting Hulk than I can Thor. Now for Juggernaut, Juggernaut, kinetic shielding. He's not going to hurt Juggernaut. 
even if he could phase inside the shielding. He's trying to phase through, essentially, well, Sidorak would still be considered technically a god, not quite a titan, but at that level of shielding. Thor, Thor is way too much for someone like Barry Allen to handle. I don't think Barry's, I think Barry, I don't think he's even facing someone like Orion. Orion's a pretty good Thor analog in the DC Universe. I think Barry would get destroyed by Orion. If you want to look at analogs for, for Thor to face against someone like Flash, Quicksilver is the closest they've got, but they have other speedsters. Whether it's the Runner, who's an eternal speedster. You know, he's he's faced people who are every bit as fast as Flash. And he holds his own relatively well. Because he's not just a really strong, capable fighter. He's a guy who's got centuries of experience and wields an artifact. When you think of how strong he is, and then you have him wield an artifact. Mjolnir is ridiculously impressive. That's why I did Thor vs. Smash to remove Mjolnir from the battle. People like to do that. Well, from a logical standpoint, Thor is very powerful. Thor with an artifact might as well say, okay, well, Superman gets a Green Lantern ring. But the amount of skill, ability, and power Mjolnir grants Thor this this fight's academic. Doesn't matter how good Barry Allen is, he's got slim to no chance of defeating somebody like Thor. 